Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Matty G, the backyard chicken farmer. And I'm going to go over a coop we built a few years ago and the automation that we've put into it. So let's go in. And the coop that we built, and let me give you a good view of this. It's a 4x8 construction with double doors and uh, the egg, egg basket box on the side here so you can easily get in. Let me show you. We have 15 hens. One's actually laying right now. No wonder why you were screaming at me before. Um, we have four boxes for the 14 hens, which is more than enough. Uh, they only use three of them, if that. Sometimes only two or one. And you get a big clutch of eggs. As long as you get the eggs every day, they don't seem to be using the other four. Excuse me, girl, while I go over this. Um, right now, I have some alfalfa hay. I don't recommend it because it's too short. What I recommend is just the regular cheapo hay long grass and the reason why is the longer grass it's easier to maintain for the chickens the nest stays a little structurally more sound for them um, and for cleanup too it kind of rolls up a little better and it's just all in over a little better than the short grass if you got it. close this up give her some privacy okay i put some water attachments in the back obviously this is march we do get some really cold winters up here and a wind chill factor is about 18 degrees today and it's probably wind chill is probably two. So <laughs> let me go over some of the features that we have. I turn off the water, but it's so much easier if you could just run a line, a regular uh, a regular uh, line through the, through the ground. You don't have to bury it too deep because you're going to be shutting it off in the wintertime anyways. Um, you know, it's just a regular sprinkler system line you can run up. It doesn't take long. Um, add some attachments and there you go. Hook it up to the hose outside the, the house. Let me show you the inside here, so some of the automation features. So, they are really happy with their roost that we have in here. Um, I looked all over, I know girl, I'm sorry, I'm interrupting your like, egg laying time. But, what I want to do here is discuss, uh, this is bicycle tire that I put around here. And the reason why is uh, I heard that it keeps off the dust mites. Um, some chickens like it. Some ch and some chickens don't. They regularly like the little two by two kind of beveled edges, just so it's not sharp on their on their uh, claws, and they like laying on those. So it really didn't matter, honestly. It just kind of alternates. Some chickens do, some chickens don't, just based on their preference or pecking order. Um, if you have electricity, uh, the reason why I mean, chickens are pretty durable animals. I mean, they can they can go through a lot of cold air as long as they don't have a chill or any uh, any wind going through. So when the temperature drops down their own body, he can warm up a, um, a coop as long as it's closed off with, you know, with limited ventilation. You have to have ventilation because the ammonia in here lets you, don't, lets you clean it often, uh, which I do. I clean it every week or every two weeks in the wintertime sometimes, or a week in the wintertime, two in the summer, just because they mostly go outside in the summer to put, do their business. Um, some automation features. I'm only out, or actually my wife does the eggs every day. Um, I clean once a week. and and that's top off the food and top off the water and uh, I do have some emergency lights I hooked up here and what I mean by that is I have a switch going from the food containers which is just uh, I think that's all eight inch piping uh, piping I had some extra stuff put some cut some holes in the bottom there put a cap on there and just holds about 25 or half a bag um, of food 25 pounds of food I have a fishing line and I just drilled a hole right into there and then uh, Put some fishing line down into basically what I had. Oops, was just a regular bocce ball that my kids lost half the set, so I didn't want to throw them out. Of course, I save everything based on what my dad always taught me. You never know when you're going to need it, and I needed it, so I drilled a hole. And it, the best thing about it is they float, so I could use for the water as well. And this is just a regular six six gallon bucket, food grade. I put a pivot, um, a spigot here. Um, regular brute, and then I have my line going down to the water feeders. And uh, what I did here is I went to, and since I do have electricity, is I have this line here that goes just a, it's a heater coil that goes around regular pipes and get at Home Depot in the plumbing aisle, and it warms up. You can feel it's really nice and warm. You get and it heats it up the water there so it doesn't freeze. Uh, another element it does is it does keep the temperature here pretty stable above freezing. Um, even when you get those really cold chilly nights and wind chills coming through um, It warms up the water. So you got like basically a water heater You know, I got put a lid on only because of the fact that you don't want a lot of humidity Because when this water warms up it starts to put humidity in the air and that's Bad for the chickens, especially if the electricity cuts off 
and it's very humid in here in the freezing pot. I have the pine chips here, and in the wintertime, like I said, I replace it every week, and they have pretty much absorbed the extra moisture in the air. So they're really happy, um, and they're content. Let me close this up. Watch your feet. And I got double doors here. The reason why, so I can keep the chickens in. I just open up the door on cold days. It's overkill, but I did it anyway. Also put a window there for the kids to look in. That's again, once again, is overkill. But anyway, made it look nice. My first attempt building, I definitely put windows in again. It allows um, light to come in. Even though they got electricity in there and I turned the light on for about 14 hours a day, so their egg production in their wintertime, as long as you have that 14 hours of light, they are uh, tricked into it summertime and keep on laying. And with the 15 chickens, we get about eight eggs a day consistently. Um, sometimes seven and five, and sometimes nine and 10, 11. So depends on the day, I guess. And I haven't figured that one out as far as uh, the real cold days. So, but I laid a lot of corn down for them. Um, I have a run corn down in the winter time for them to keep up their carbs. So I have deer fencing around the areas that I want to keep them in. But like chickens are big miners, and they start digging up everything. Nothing will survive coming through this. You know, gardener snakes and uh, moles that we had. I mean, they rip them apart like raptors uh, when they get into the fencing. Uh, during the springtime, I want to seed this. So I have my door conveniently not only close the outside, but also be able to close. Come on, get out of the way. Close and fit there. So they're kept in a little smaller coop. No, don't go out. You're already out. I let them free range to get the ticks out of the yard. I didn't kick you. There you go. Just nudged her. I don't want any comments. You're kicking your chickens. All right, so that's that. Um, if there's any questions or comments, let me know, and I'll do another tape to fulfill everybody else's needs and questions that they have. So I know I get a lot of questions on the schematics of the construction of it. I'll probably put, post it in the comment section. All right, thank you very much.